Listen to that bird. The sky is really pretty. Wow. Sun's just coming up. 500 times throughout my life and I it wasn't fun. I am live streaming on the phone right now yeah. unless it broke unless it stopped unless. with the internet uh on my other channel Mr. Fallior while vlogging on this channel Mr. Fallior's life so that's kind of cool uh even though the quality sucks with that but uh we just got done with some imaging or at least yeah. you did I got my boobies squished yeah in other words ma'am and it might not be good you said? Yeah, it was just so weird. She's like, when we'll be right back. We gotta go to the the radiologist to show him the films. And then she's like really close to the other lady and she's like, that's not good. I swore that's Are what you she sure said. that's what she said? I swore that's what she uh, said. Well, hopefully that's not what she said. Uh, my brain is thinking oh, the lights shut off. Error. Uh oh. Yeah. Unfortunately, it stopped working. Uh oh. So but at the house, it works pretty good. It's just the quality really sucks. <laughs> so. Okay. I also got a high score on the pinball. Yeah. Look at my leg. It's freaking nasty. What? What's wrong with your leg? They're hairy. So okay. No. I don't like See, hair. like that older man today. The older man with the really tanned legs and he had absolutely no hair on them. No idea. You didn't notice? Nope. Why aren't you looking at guys' legs? What the hell's the matter with you? Know? What? <laughs> I'm glad okay, you don't look. On. Shh. I'm glad you don't look at guys' legs. Okay. That's a good boy. Okay, good I don't get it. Boy. Look, I'm really exhausted. I had no <laughs> sleep. <laughs> For four hours, I got up and peed four times because of my friggin' nerves. And then Mookie was laying by me on the bed, so I had to keep petting her every time I opened my eyes. Oh, Mookie, pet her. Go to sleep. Oh, Mookie, pet her. <laughs> <laughs> and then the alarm went off. Yeehaw! So if anybody's ever tried, uh, oh, focus. What the hell, man? Pinball Deluxe. I got a high score on the... Ooh. What was the other one that you were playing? The one that you kept swearing and I kept hearing you right in the... <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't serious. Sorry. You said F? It wasn't serious. I you was joking. You said slur? I was joking. Ot? Why can't this show it good? Look okay, at that see? cop's probably looking at you. There's the high score. See the cop over there? Don't on care. bricks, which is basically pinball and breakout at the same time. Cool. 14.2 million. There's no way I get up to that. That, that cop? Oh, look, he's pulling something. Is that that little how fast you go thing that they set up on the side of the road? I don't know. I'm a little dizzy. Why? Because I'm, I'm tired. Are we going? Oh, you want to go now? Why didn't you go before? You're There's nothing there. Oh, it's here not they there. are. <laughs> 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 okay. It sounds like I'm drunk. No, I'm not. I'm really Are not. you sure? No, I'm just freaking nerved up. And I have reflux today that just is blocking my blocking near my heart bothers me bothering me today. Alive, and that's a good thing. For now. What is that? I'm gonna die. No, that's not. Oh, no, I was happy for a that's minute. That's not what I mean. I was happy. Okay. That's I not what I mean. And you're like, for now. No, like Alrighty overall. Then. I'm still alive, even though I'm dead, tired. 
How do we get out of here? Somebody said that they like our car, the car vlogs the best. Oh, they do. Yeah. That's nice. They also said that I should, I should grab a backpack and go out uh, into the wilderness or the backyard or whatever for seven days and camp. Be because careful it would be of good the for vlogs. It would, but be careful of the fire ants. And the giant spiders. <laughs> and the snakes that the that the cat likes to attack. Oh yes. We've had a few and I don't like them. Florida is basically America's version of Australia where everything tries to kill you. <laughs> right? True. Uh oh. It's like a mixture of Texas and Australia where things try to kill you and everything's bigger. That. Right? Because they say nice. everything's bigger in Texas. But you get you, you come to Florida, all the freaking bugs are massive size, they're all on steroids. <laughs> they are too. My Even first... the freaking worms. What the hell? Oh, no, with the mouth. Yeah, they open. have faces and shit. Oh weird. And teeth first or whatever. Time I was vacuuming and seeing the biggest freaking stink bug I've ever seen in my life. He stink was cute. Oh, oh. I was trying to thing. suck him up, but I didn't know if he was a. Like, Ow, I'm getting pain. And I didn't know he was an actual stink bug at first. And moths can't sting. Because the heat was so freaking big. Bullshit, moths can't sting. I know Do they I can. Do I go this way? Yes. Yeah. I know they can. Yes, they can. If you see a moth <laughs> and his tail is up yeah. in the back and he's just like. Um, a scorpion. Are you, you know, sure tails up that that's not just his penis and it's just really pointy? Well, it's sharper than hell, let me tell you, <laughs> and it gives you a sting. Like, it's like, ow, oh, gosh, you know? Yeah, hey, it could be like a needle penis. <laughs> he gave it one got me because I was playing with the little moths, you know? Yeah. And I always petted them and stuff and not hard to get their dust off or anything. And he was, I said, hey, look at your little tail. And he was up, he was in the side of the refrigerator. And I touched his little tail and holy hell, it hurt so freaking bad. And he, I was, what, nine or 10? Holy crap, <clears throat> I'll never forget it. Maybe you dreamt it. No, I touched it and my, my dad was like, What's the matter? What's the matter? I said, he bit me with his butt. <laughs> and he said, I, don't play with bugs. What's the matter? I said, Dad, you told me that no, none of these bugs, things like this, can hurt. <laughs> he didn't know it either. And everybody's like, no, moths don't stink. Yeah? They don't. Well, if you don't believe me, if you see a moth with his butt in the air, like a little scorpion, touch his butt. Go right ahead, and then tell me that he don't sting. Oh. <laughs> mm. How come it's nowhere stings? online, though, when I looked it up? Yeah, I know. We asked if moths sting. They said no. Moths, uh, whatever, the bulls, whoa, they do too sting. Only the ones with it that I've noticed. Or they just have a pointy penis. Well, it stays in your freaking finger for like a bee does. You know, when a bee stings mm -hmm. you, and it lasts for like, I don't know how long. Yeah. That lasted a long time. And I love doing it where you're barefoot and you're walking across the floor and all of a sudden it's like, oh, what's that soft little thing that I felt under my big toe? Oh my god. That's the first Hornet? time. Wasp. Oh. Why, well, that's why he stung you because you stepped, stepped on Yeah, huh? but I didn't too much. I was walking I was like, What's that soft thing? <laughs> because um, what was it? Marissa was knocking on the other door, so I was going to it, so I wasn't you know like too fast. But yeah, I was like soft. <laughs> Holy crap! So a hornet saw. I mean, a wasp was soft. Oh. I think that's one of the worst pains that I've ever had from a bee. I've had hornets, I've had honeybees, and bumblebees, and... All at once. Oh my god. Every one of them, yeah, all at right, once. Wait, you wouldn't think if the different species would all work together. Yeah, I've never heard of that before. And I was just being a nice little girl 
I was like probably 11 and I opened up the doors because mom and Crystal came back with the groceries. And I opened up the door a couple different times as they were coming in and going back out. All of a sudden, vroom, all of these beads were, I was like, what the hell is going on? All the way up underneath my hairline, on my head, all of these freaking Like a halo. Yo, know, it was terrible. And mom came in, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm getting, I just got stung, I got stung. And she's got the fly swatter and she's smacking the bees and shit. And then she told them, um, that's how we could tell what, what came in because yeah. she got a bumblebee and a hornet and shit like that. And um, she's like, Crystal, go out and get some mud. And Crystal's like, like probably 20 minutes, right? And she's like, where the hell, what are you doing? Felt she's like, like 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, she came in, she goes, I can't find any mud. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shit. <laughs> well, she, you kind of get some dirt, and then if you put a little water to it, it turns into mud, but, you know. <laughs> so that's that that's kind of like, like, is I that. She was nice. But was that like, you know, because her, her brain is a little slow was that because of that yeah. or was it just because of like the panicking of like what's the number to 911 yeah i think a little bit of both i can't find any mud i don't know where she was looking actually for it but it was kind of funny she was looking for already prepared mud. yeah because if you don't have any baking soda you know, and yeah. you to put to help with it, whatever. If you do put, apply mud, first get some dirt, and then fix it with water. And if you apply it on there, it does help too. And then after the pain isn't so bad, if you could use your a fingernail if you have it, or an edge of a credit card or something like that, and just flick that area to get the uh, that yeah. stinger out because you gotta get the friggin' stinger out. And then your very first time was at uh, Grandma's, wasn't it? I think it was what? No, Webster's house. You were outside of there, and you come running in, and you said, "Mom, oh, I got stung," and I was like, "Holy crap!" Because you've never been stung before. Oh. And it freaking scared the crap out of me. But when you were okay, you know, I got the stinger out, which was good. I wonder if anybody's ever made it their entire life without getting stung. Yeah, really. I wonder. Because I was going to say, I think everybody's been stung at least once in their life, right? Yep. Yeah, that's terrible. Including those that's allergic. The very first time I remember doing that was when Mom and Dad were mowing the lawn and me and Crystal were playing on the back porch. And all of a sudden... We were getting stung like a hell. And we were hollering to mom and dad. Of course, they couldn't hear very good because they were mowing. And then finally, they were waving hi because they thought, you know, hey, we're trying to get their attention. And, and all of a sudden, mom thought she shut it off and the lawnmower off. And she's like, oh my God, there's something wrong. So, so dad came running up there and he's smashing these bumblebees with his freaking hands getting them away from us and killing them and with his freaking hands. He was so freaking scared. And since it's bumblebees and they are apparently don't attack on command or whatever, that must mean you guys were like right next to a nest, Yeah, right? it must be. And we played on that back porch every day. So how we, it never happened before that day. Yeah. I have no idea. Grandma's house always had tons of nests. But All this, over. This Hornets, was, mainly. And um, going toward New Berlin, when we used to live there. Yeah, but even at her house, at, during my childhood, like, she always had bees. Everywhere, remember? You know? Especially that front, that front room, or back room, or whatever you want to call it. I think too. There was, was always at least three hornet's nests in, the, in front of there. When that happened too, I was only like six years old. And I remember my lip was huge. And we were supposed to go see great grandma that day and stuff. Well, it would be my grandma. And, oh, I, my head everywhere, arms, cheek, 
Oh my look, what about Griffith? What about Crystal? Yeah, she had it too. Not as many as me though, which is freaking weird. I don't know how, but she had a few stings. So what time do we have to leave? I gotta leave by at least two. What time's your appointment? Or a little bit before three. Oh. So we gotta leave an hour before your appointment? Yeah, because it always takes us at least 50 minutes. Hmm. What do we got on my mind about bees today? I don't know. Except for that one bee. Yeah, that Let's bee see. that was flying around. And I remember pulling the weeds up by um, what, the one trailer that we lived in. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, I'm pulling the freaking weeds. And uh, the freaking uh, hornet came, stung me on my freaking thumb. And I was like, oh, you ass, right? So I grabbed a rock and I was squishing him. Well, I didn't know if I really got him or not. Good. I'll be damned if I didn't keep pulling the weeds there and he came back up somehow. I didn't notice and he stung me again. Huh. Same damn one because he was moving like... And I didn't notice in time, but he still freaking stung me even though he couldn't hardly move. Huh. Twice on the thumb from one morning. Oh, Did damn. you finish killing him? Yes, after that I was pissed. It's like you had enough chance for a life and you didn't freaking want to just go away and mind your own business. You had to sting me again. <laughs> I was so mad. Huh. Dang. What about the snake thing that we were supposed to do the other day? Oh, yeah, the, ru the box of rubber snakes. Yeah, my box of rubber yep. snakes. Why did... Little okay, to start right off... There. Why did I have a box of, of fake snakes? Oh, you love rubber snakes. Every time we would go to the store, you'd be like, Can I have a snake? I said, Thomas, you have two or three rubber snakes. No, I want a snake. And they were like, what? Not even a you know, 50 cents or something. I was like, all right, pick out a snake. So by that time, we were had at least eight or nine of these rubber freaking snakes. I also had that giant, that giant rubber snake, remember? Yeah, he that was That one was okay. heavy. Yeah, he was big. Where'd that come from? I think your dad got it somewhere. Hmm. So he went, oh, that's beautiful. So he went in the same box as all the other ones. Yeah, so I had a box of all different colors and yeah. size snakes in a big box. Really tall, too, like about my height as a child. And it was about maybe a little less than half full. Covered. Grandma loved it every time you had to show her your arms. <laughs> yeah, because she, she was always afraid of them. Yeah. She had a phobia yeah. of snakes. And for some reason, she had a phobia of feathers. I don't know why. Yeah. I know that she said she was allergic and stuff, but she was afraid of them. Yeah, really scared. And I don't know why. Like, I mean, I've touched her with them before, and of course she'd scream and stuff, but she never had a rash for anything, so I don't know if she actually was allergic or she just thought she was. But it's just weird. I've touched her, like, several different times as a kid because I would love to torture her about it for some reason, which is very horrible. Never do that to somebody's phobia. Um... And she's never, ever gotten a rash from the feathers. But she still was so scared of them. No um, about as scared as you are of spiders. Oh. Like, she, like, it was like, the, it was a giant spider. I remember when she told me that Grandma, um, you know, st stopped her from, weaned her off her breasts. Yeah. When she was uh, just a baby with a feather. All she did was lay a feather across her nipple area. Yeah. And um, your grandma just would not get near it. So after that. As a baby? Yep. You know, you know, to me, I mean, that night she's like, you know, normal time. Right, but she had a fear of it as a baby? Yeah, only because of that. Like, it was like, okay, you know, not to do, not to have the booby means something but she somehow oh she somehow it. it turned into a fear yes okay so i don't know how and like you know you know your great grandma should never hurt anybody right or scare anybody and she's like 
I weaned her off my breast that way, and ever since, and she was so scared. And in, in school, when she was just a little girl, they chase her with all right. the yeah, of feathers, she you know. And she said that after that, it was just like spiders and everything to us. Scared her to death. Huh. That's why so many people are afraid of spiders, too, because their parents are, so they th think that they should be, and then, you know, now there's an epidemic of having a fear of spiders. Yeah.